so today we are going to cover a topic set up company profile you know without an employee company is incomplete right so that's why we need to set up a company for salesforce organization so that anyone in salesforce can use org so let's see how salesforce is used and how company profile is set up let's take a look so in setup we just have to type in company and then we will go to company information where we will see all the information about the company so this is the page it looks like where you have the organization name the primary contact of the company who is the owner of the company then you have the division and if you just click on edit you can edit the information like the company name and the primary contact the owner of the company the division of the company you can mention the phone number here the fax details and the address section is appearing here then you can also define the locale you know why salesforce is the best crm in the world it is used across the globe but still you have the option to define the locale as per your time zone for example we all are using salesforce nowadays in india in us everywhere across the world but still you can use your own time zone in the salesforce so this is the locale page where you can decide the language and the locale and the time zone as per your uh, area or region then you have the activate multiple currency option here where you can use the currency based on your country and you can also enable the notifications which you see here whether you want to receive the salesforce newsletters or not or you want to receive the admin newsletters or not and if you want to hide the system maintenance emails or if you don't want to receive the system downtime emails you can definitely have the option to hide it from here now the next topic is how the salesforce is purchased so whenever you have purchased salesforce you must have to have some licenses right some are paid licenses and some are licenses which salesforce is giving to you as you can see here in the picture you have the list of licenses where you can check how many you have purchased which are total licenses and how many you have used and how many are remaining along with the expiration date so this salesforce license is the main license which you have to purchase once you have purchased salesforce for a customer and then these users will be able to use salesforce and access the things in salesforce the other licenses are also the paid licenses which depends on the access level which you can purchase from your account executive then down below you have permission set licenses just like you have top ups in mobile right whenever your recharge is finished then you have to top up same in salesforce we have permission set licenses where you can get some add ons so this is the list of permission set licenses which you can purchase for your org and then people can use it if you assign them then you have some feature licenses like marketing user apex mobile user offline user knowledge user all these list of licenses are known as feature licenses because this is a extra feature which, which salesforce is giving to you then you have user based entitlements for example api request limit per month so you can define some limit for your organization and the frequency you can set based on the allowances which you purchase so this guild will give you the picture of the start date when you have purchased the user based entitlements the end date the frequency the allowances how much amount you have used and the usage everything will be shown here in this company information picture so i'm sure all of you are using facebook and instagram right it's very trending nowadays so same here in salesforce we have chatter which is just like facebook where you can communicate with people you can send messages you can create groups so this is a communication method which has been given by salesforce and it's of course free of cost you don't have to pay anything to be a salesforce chatter user you can communicate with your teams and uh, you can download it as a chatter desktop and then you can use it to communicate with your folks so let's see how we can set it up so here we have the chatter settings where you can define if you want to you have to enable it first then you have to define some settings before you set it up for your users you have to allow group archiving allow records in groups and then enable unlisted groups so it all depends on 
whether you want to use this feature or not. You have all the options here where you can explore this and check appropriately as per your uh, requirement. So once you have set it up, you can just go to Chatter from here. You have the Salesforce Chatter option. So you have this option here to post anything if you want to tag someone and if you want to post anything, you can just press the at mention from your keyboard and just type in the name of that person and you can just say hi to them. For example, that person will get a notification into their mailboxes that you have sent them a hi. If you have some question in your mind and you want to raise a poll, you want yes or no from or you want a voting system, then you can raise a question and add and ask them. This is also one of the uh, option available for you to ask the question to your peers. Then you have the option where you can send select to me. Whoever has sent you email, you will be getting the options here. You can bookmark also some chats. Then you can get the company highlights, what your company is doing, like what new they have done. You can save also something in drafts and you can also follow people. If you follow them, you will be able to track all of their activities. You can create the groups as well where you can have a public groups and you can chat with them. Okay, then you have people here where you can uh, add people and you can just add mention them and chat with them. So this is about chatter. So we had covered the topics today, setting up company profile. Whenever you purchase a new Salesforce or you have to set up company profile for your employees. We did that today. We had taken a look on the user licenses, how many user licenses we can purchase in Salesforce. And also we had set up chatter and chatter free users. So stay connected for upcoming videos.